think about it. I hadn't even been properly trained and I'm scanning stuff like this. See that? Mm-hmm. We got a sugar cookie and he got Irish cream cold brew at Starbucks. Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Blessed Bears. I'm a mother of nine. We're a family of 11 and I just got back from Aldi and I wanted to share with you what we got. It's probably gonna be enough for one week and I will try to give you some meal ideas if I can think of it. Anyways, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We do vlogs, what life is like with a bunch of littles and big kids. I have three teenagers. Can you hear her in the background? Anyways, so, Let's get to it though. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this was $305 at Aldi. I spread it out, making sure we don't have anyone choking. I spread it out so it would look like more and so you could see it better. But you know how food prices are. I was trying to think of some meals that weren't quite as expensive that could go further. And if you do watch us um, on our channel, I do try to give some meal ideas and some will be coming up soon of how to feed at least in our case, a large family on the cheap. So that will be coming up soon. All right, and I did run to Target. So this is like all Aldi and just a little bit of Target. I will show you that too, just because. Okay, so we're gonna have jerk chicken. I haven't made this in literally like six months or longer. It's so easy. Okay, we had kids getting in. Roman, my four-year-old was trying to pour himself some tea. Had to hurry and fix that. So as I was saying, I make jerk chicken. It's really, really good, simple, feeds a whole lot of people. I hope you can hear me over Ellie. Hopefully you could. You can feed a lot of people because sweet potatoes for right now are not that expensive. So I cut up the potatoes and bake it with chicken with some other stuff. I'll show you on another uh, channel, or not channel, video. And you can see how I do that. Um, for some snacks, we have some grain-free pretzels. We eat either gluten-free or organic when it comes to our grain. Oh my gosh, okay. Seriously, real life here. Tons of interruptions. So, these are just plain sea salt. These ones are roasted garlic and herb, and they are really good, okay? Um, so, and then we got some white cheddar cheese, popcorn. I usually make our own popcorn homemade, but this is so great when you're on the go or to have with lunch. So, we got two of those. Four things of the multi-grain tortilla chips. It is organic and um, it's pretty good. Like we like to have this um, kind of like you see here with salsa or some refried beans, which I bought over there. I'll show you in a minute. And then I got some celery and that is to have some, with peanut butter and some raisins. We call those ants on a log. Comment below if you've ever had ants on a log. And then four things of Colby Jack. This is for our nachos and for some other things. And then I have two bags of these oranges. One is over there. And that is for our lunch. I'm gonna cut it up and serve it to the kids for our lunches. And then for mornings where I am tired and I don't wanna make three full meals a day, I got some easy instant oatmeal uh, maple spice and I bought, how many of these did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six. So literally three feeds us, so this is good for two breakfast. And then we're gonna be making a cheese ball. I'll share that recipe on another video as well. But anyways, we got some tomato and basil crackers to go with it, some peppercorn rice crackers to go with that. And we also have dipped these pretzels in our cheese balls before as well. But if you're not gluten-free, just have at the wonderful yummy Ritz crackers. I miss those. So this came from Target. I'm kind of skipping around, but it's okay. It's not too much. So this is just hand print ornament uh, kit. It comes with everything that you need and the paint. And I just thought that would be fun to do with my six little kids before they're too big is to get their hand print, put the gear, let them paint a little bit, and we can use that on our tree. I also bought myself some sheets. We have a king and it's just it just needs some more sheets and these are kind of festive so that's what steven and i picked out interrupted by this it's never quiet around here let's get back to it okay this this is not for us this is for my brother-in-law um for christmas but we he likes to have beer and so therefore these are soaps okay i just thought it looked kind of festive i know not everyone loves you know alcohol and that's fine i don't drink it but um 
it's supposed to be kind of like smelling like the beer or whatever. Okay, so he loves it. That's his thing. And so therefore that is a present for him. So I did kind of start early, if I can get this back where it goes, for him. And they are like super heavy. They're like gigantic bars of soap. This came from Target. It was $15. Then I got some um, apples from Aldi. I got two bags of those. Here's the other one. It was $1.99 a pound. And also two things of pickles. Ellie, our two-year-old, is obsessed with pickles lately. So I've been buying extra pickles just to make her happy. And we all love them, but she like really is into her like, I want pickles all the time phase. And then two big things of chicken. Of course, some of this is gonna be used for that jerk chicken. Because we're a large family, we require almost double of everything. So we had to use two or buy two of these to have wraps for everyone. They are pretty good. Um, I had someone reach out to me and say, I don't really like the gluten-free foods. They don't taste good. My hint to everyone is toast it. It helps it to stay together and it makes it taste better. And then some salsa verde. This is for a soup that I make quite often that everyone loves. Cream cheese to make our cheese balls. Four of those. I got four of those. Two things of real mayo because I have not had it for like a week or two and we've been missing it. Couldn't do a lot of things because I was like, oh, we have no mayo. And then four things of apple. We can either make real apple pie with this, which we have recently done. And I also like to add this to our oats. So if I make like homemade oats, and the kids love when I add apple or some kind of uh, fruit. If I want to be super healthy, I will take and cut up apples and saute them with cinnamon sugar and then pour it in their oats. But this is when you're busy and you don't have time for that. Three big things of bacon. We love to have bacon in this house. Two packages of mango slices. My third child loves mangoes and Steven was craving them, so we've got two packages. Some lettuce, this is for me because I'm trying, trying to be more low carb. And um, so this is gonna go with the lunch meat for myself for lunch. Two big containers of creamy peanut butter. I don't know if I showed you this. Did I show you this? Coconut cashew crisp. It's like a little snack that Steven picked out. And I don't know if I showed you this one. Did I? I don't know. Coconut cashew crisp. It was over there, like behind everything. I don't think I did. Four packages of pancake and baking mix. This is gluten-free. And this is so hard to find that I bought a bunch of them. I bought eight of them last week and four this week but we're gonna be eating Thanksgiving with 20 people, so I needed a lot of these. Um, so this is turkey, gluten-free, uh, Thanksgiving stuffing. And then four things of this organic ground beef from Aldi, as you can see there. A mild salsa for our chips and salsa um, lunch day, and some hot. Refried beans for that purpose. Got four of those. A thing of organic chili powder because we make chili all the time and we use this also in our taco seasoning and then two big things of honey ham two big things of turkey breast some more crackers for those cheese balls and I do my own cleaning um, spray and so I needed some white vinegar got two of those one two and then some almond milk. I have shakes that I drink every day and I needed some almond milk for those. Two packages of crinkle cut fries. Three packages of organic salted butter. Literally it was almost the same price as the regular. And did I miss anything? Oh, and I got this because we've been doing pour over coffee and we need something to keep it hot so it doesn't get cold because we are trying to get away from certain things that are kind of unhealthy. So, Anyways, this is all the food that I got from Aldi's. Again, it was $305, a couple of things from Target. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. I will see you guys on the next one.